Hi, this is Mark Weitzman. Welcome back to my YouTube channel on Want to Be a Theoretical Physicist. Uh, in this video, I'd like to start a uh, weekly blog where I can summarize what I've done in the past week, some interesting things I've encountered in the physics world online, and um, just a general snapshot of um, what I'm doing with my time. And um, so today will be the first um, blog episode. And um, I want to start by um, outlining what I'm doing in, um, in physics. So I spent most of my time reading Sidney Coleman's QFT book. And um, just uh, in case you haven't seen it, I'll, uh, I'll show... Um, there it is, there's an Amazon page. And um, it's a fantastic book, and I'm on page, uh, let me look, it's like 1,100 pages, and I'm finally on page 730. And, um, but I will finish, by the end of the year, I will finish the um, electromagnetic portions of the book, and then, um, um, then the rest of the book, once I get to page like 775, I think, starts um, group theory and QCD and the electroweak interactions. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, just to give you an idea of how detailed this book is, and, and I'll, I'll make a video later today on my QFT uh, blog videos playlist. They, they have these like details on, um, you know, this, this great like, um, hold on one second. And um, it's just fantastic details on these problems. This is um, a famous calculation on the uh, self-energy of the photon where Coleman shows that you can actually do it in a gauge invariant and Lorenz invariant way, despite um, statements by others that it um, wasn't possible. So um, that's um, this is my main uh, going through some of these problems and uh, working through these calculations is a big start for me. Um, also, while doing this, I'm reading, um, continuing to view um, Hatfield's book on QFT. Um, this is a great book to review QFT. It's not a good book to learn QFT, but it's good if you want to review various things. So um, that's where I am on... Um, physics, my QFT. Um, I'm also continuing with um, the, my quantum mechanics. I'm the discussion forum administrator for 8.04x given by MIT. Quantum mechanics, the first course. We're on like, um, we're on week eight now. So we're a little, the second exam is out now. We're a little bit past halfway. And then a uh, new course that started this week I haven't really um, gotten into it yet, but I will today. It's Computational Data Science and Physics 1. You might want to look at um, the MITx online site and see what it's about. If you're really interested in data and machine learning, um, I think this would be an excellent course. This is the actual course. They release it. It's a self-paced, and it's about four or five, six weeks. They release all the material at once. So this is the material that they released. Released. It's um, based on Jupyter notebooks, most of it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So um, so I should add here Hatfield. Hatfield's QFT book. And then, um, then I have the MOOCs, which I just described, 8.04x and uh, 8.S501x. Um, in addition, um, there's been a lot of uh, interesting things that were released this, this uh, last week, and I will um, get to them in, in a second. But one thing I discovered on, as part of one of the blogs that I read um, was um, 
the site on particle physics, they have like 60 free online books, really, really excellent books. Um, things like uh, classics, like Gauge Theories and Particle Physics, two volumes, Atchison and Hay. And um, Lee Algebras and Particle Physics, Georgie, that's an old one, but still good. And Standard model, model and Beyond is really good. So there's about 60 books that are just available for free download. And I would, uh, you know, I would recommend taking a look at these and, you know, seeing if I downloaded all 60 because uh, not that I'm going to read all 60, but there's about 15 that I, I like and I just way I just have them in case they change their mind or whatever. Um, another thing that I highly recommend is um, I read the book. It's about 250 pages, but it's, it really reads very quickly. It's online. It's available for free. You just click on these um, PDF and you get a chapter at a time. And it's on a very famous um, string theorist, uh, Joe Polchinski, who um, unfortunately he died a couple of years ago, very young, of brain cancer. And he knew he was dying and he had about like a year and a half left and he decided to write his autobiography. So if you want to know like how theoretical physicists you know, what their life is like, how they go from one position to another, what papers they write, why they write, what they studied, who they met, and everything. This is a really nice read. And um, so I, I highly recommend taking a look at this. Um, now, the um, thing on um, the hype from last week is this, this caused a lot of controversy. It originally didn't have the word holographic in the title, but a lot of places, uh, New York Times, um, all kinds, New Yorker, they're all writing about physicists are creating wormholes on a quantum computer. And it's really, if you read exactly what was done and why, it's really, really not that significant at all. It's not a real wormhole. It's just a simulation of a computation that doesn't even apply to our world and everything. And um, I really suggest, if you want to read more about this, you know, read the article on Quanta. But um, read, um, you know, there's, um, let me just go back to my iPad Pro for a second. Um, so I had the um, autobiography of uh, Polchinski. And then there was the uh, Quanta Hype. And there was the um, free books, free particle physics books. total of about 60 of them. Um, and then there's the, um, the Quanta Hype. So I really recommend, there's three blogs that I regularly lead, read on physics. There's a lot of them. There's v very good ones. This is just um, some of the ones that I find interesting. And um, if you want like a different perspective or something, there's Peter White's blog, which is like very negative on string theory and a lot of hype. There's um, Scott Aronson's blog. And then there's a blog by um, the mathematician, Bias. So I'll show you these blogs very briefly. If I can get this. Okay, so this was the article on Quanta. Peter Oyd has a blog where he regularly posts, and, you know, he's very controversial, but, you know, the New Yorker and the publicity stunt, and you get a lot of viewpoints, and, and you get a lot of comments on it, and he's got really good links. That's where I found a link to the particle physics books, wormhole publicity stunts, and, you know, there's a lot of comments by a lot of, like, top-notch people and everything. You know, it's this is a heavily moderated blog. Peter won't let you um, post anything, but 
you have a lot of like Scott Aronson posts on this blog and you know George Ellis you know people who are like professionals a lot of them post on this blog another blog that I highly recommend is Scott Aronson's blog which he calls uh, Shuttle Optimized and he um, has a he allows everything he used to allow everything on the blog but he got really like trolled and everything so now he's sort of like um, reining it in but still he's got huge numbers of comments by people and you know you can learn a lot on these things and sometimes you get some other really good leak links and then um, Baez, the mathematician, he's also very into physics, and he's got several blogs. One of them is called the N Category Cafe, a group blog on math, physics, and philosophy. And he will, um, you know, he'll post on a lot of different things, like neutrino, dark matter. A lot of times, it's math and deep math and everything. He's a really amazing mathematician. Octonians, but a lot of times, it's just pure like physics. So. Um, Trying to figure out how to get this link working. And, you know, he, um, like I said, he has a blog and he allows comments. He moderates it a little bit. Sometimes it gets out of hand. These, this mathematician and the physicist were like, it got a little bit out of hand. But, um, so these are the main blogs I looked at. Um, there are some others. And then um, also this week, I'm reading a new book. Uh, it's not really new, but it came out. I don't know why that happened. On a chip war. It's, it's just a review of the technology, mostly from a hardware point of view on how chips were developed way back in the uh, Shockley days and everything when they all moved out west and so on. So um, I highly recommend... Um, looking at some of these blogs and everything. And um, tonight I'll make a video on um, on my QFT blog. I'll make a video on um, on uh, Coleman's calculation, one part of his calculation of um, the uh, self energy of the photon. Okay, so um, until um, till next week, um, till next week, I'll see you. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be on my Piazza sites and on the uh, online courses and everything. And, um, you know, if you ever have any questions, you know, posting on one of my Piazza sites or on the YouTube video underneath is a way to get in touch with me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.